Hi everyone, I'm Katie Lance with Inman Next. So today we're going to talk about how to generate great local content for your social media strategy. So why is this important as a real estate agent? Well, as a real estate agent, it's a lot more than just knowing about real estate, right? Your clients, the people you work with, they want to know that you know more than just the houses, that you are an expert in the community. What are the parks like? What are the schools like? What, is, what does it feel like to live in the neighborhood? So the way you position yourself through social media is putting out some great local content. But where do you find that content? So I have a couple really simple ideas on how to find great content that will position yourself as an expert in the community. The first way is on Twitter. And through Twitter, there's a real simple thing you can do, and that is to search hashtags. Now, if you're real tech savvy, you know exactly what I'm talking about with hashtags. But if you're like me a couple years ago, I had no idea what the heck a hashtag is. So a hashtag is actually a pound sign and then a word. And it's actually a search term. So, for example, you can put in a Twitter and the search box, pound San Francisco, pound New York City, pound real estate, pound New York schools. All different words can be used as hashtags. And there's a lot of great hashtags to use. For example, your city, uh, schools, real estate, homes. But again, by putting that pound sign in front of it and putting the word, it's a real simple search term. So what happens on Twitter is you search those hashtags and you can really filter through the noise because there's a lot of noise on Twitter. So you can filter through and find great local content that's relevant to your community and your clients. And you can take that content and then retweet it out, put it on your blog, put it on Facebook, and that's a real easy way to, to position yourself in the local community. So the second way to, uh, to position yourself is to scour local blogs. There's tons of great local blogs in your community, local uh, news sites, local TV, si uh, TV websites, all kinds of local, uh, local websites, your Chamber of Commerce, uh, your Downtown Association, your Parks and Rec. All those sites are already, already there. They already have great content. So pick five or ten of your favorite local sites and have those be some of your go-to sites that you pick some great content, great information that you can then, again, post out on your blog, push out on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn, and really position yourself as that local expert. My third tip is to, is to find key influencers in your community. And this is probably one of the most important points. In every community across the the world, the United States, there's there's key influencers. Maybe they're politicians, maybe they're people in your local school district, maybe they're, they're your local business owners, uh, restaurant owners. So find those key influencers online, do a little bit of homework, do a little bit of research, go on Facebook and search some of those people. Go on Twitter and search some of those people. And most likely those key influencers are on Facebook and they're on Twitter. And one of the best parts about social media is you can reach out to those people, you can develop online relationships, see what they're talking about, engage them, repost out their content, ask questions, and by engaging in those type of people who are really key influencers, that will help build your network and really, again, position yourself as that local expert. So, again, use those, use those tips. It's so important, in my opinion, for a real estate agent to not just be well-versed in real estate, but really be well-versed in their community and, and be that local expert for their clients. So what do you think? Do you have anything to add? Comments? Questions? Leave me some feedback below. I'd love to hear from you. I'm Katie Lance with Inman Next.